Let's cross back to Nakuru. Miriam Nyambura, now we have a better signal. You were telling us about that school whose girls are now in court on suspicion that they participated in the burning of a dormitory? Yes, indeed, it's true, and apologies uh, for that technical hitch. And uh, 18 students uh, from uh, Kiroborn Girls Secondary School are set to appear here. Uh, the prosecution side is set uh, just to uh, request for more time from uh, the magistrate here uh, or for, to allow for investigations uh, to commence. Uh, we understand that uh, the, the Kiroborn Girls uh, Secondary School, uh, a dormitory was uh, uh, burnt down or was raised down on uh, Monday morning at around 4 a.m. So, uh, According to the reports uh, we got from uh, the, de the Deputy County Commissioner Julius Kitavi is that at around 5.30 they got reports that uh, the dormitory was burning down and uh, yesterday a security meeting was uh, was held. Uh, officials are uh, from drawn from uh, the security side and uh, stakeholders including uh, the Education County Director uh, Dr. Julius, uh, Dr. William Sugutrada uh, appeared as well as the area MP Raymond Moy were there uh, just to deliberate on uh, issues or rather what uh, could be the cause of uh, them, uh, or rather the suspected uh, students, to raise down uh, the dormitory. So, according to the reports uh, we got yesterday, is that uh, the, the the school is set uh, to continue, or rather the students are set to remain in school for the next two weeks, uh, even though the dormitory was burnt down. We understand that 302 students were affected. That uh, meaning that it's half of the students uh, who are affected uh, by that. Uh, 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 or rather by that incident which happened. Uh, so we know that uh, they're set to appear here. Uh, they've not yet uh, uh, been brought uh, to the courts. And then again uh, uh, is that uh, the neighboring school, Kirobon Boys High School, was also, uh, or rather the, some students, suspected students, also arrested on uh, Sunday. And uh, yesterday they appeared uh, here again at the Nakuru Law Courts uh, just to, uh, or rather uh, um, the prosecution side seeking to uh, get... Uh, time to uh, to conduct investigations so we know that uh, the, stu the 18 students again from Kiroborn Boys High School are set to uh, remain in police custody for the next three days to allow for investigations uh, to commence but as of now uh, Sam and Zinzi what we know is that uh, the students have not yet uh, been brought here and, uh, and again uh, some of the stakeholders yesterday during the meeting uh, expressed their disappointment in uh, the school, saying that uh, this is the second time that this incident has happened to that dorm uh, in uh, Kirobon Girls High School in a span of three years. So again, uh, the area MP saying that uh, the CDF funds are not may not be available to build a, a dormitory as soon as now, but uh, him saying that... Uh, Possibly the parents are set to incur costs out of that. So we will continue to keep an eye. Remember, uh, this uh, current spate of uh, unrest in schools has uh, raised concerns. Last week, Njoro Girls High School was burnt down as well as Njoro Boys. So we will continue to keep an eye and uh, keep our viewers up to date in our subsequent bulletins concerning uh, what uh, transpires here. Back to you, Sam and Zinzi.